Man City versus Fulham. Rodri got injured for the rest of the season, but coach has just decided to do this. Do you think they already have a replacement in him? Of course, bro. And honestly, this was the only big question: Can he come up with those Rodri clutch goals, right? Because he can do most of the things Rodri can do. But oh God, from the first game till now, dude, he looks really good. And I think Pep has solved it. It's sort of crazy that he's he has all these players, and um, y'all y'all are gonna give this uh, title again to City this time for swapping all these players. It's- Um, yeah, but good for him, man. After having like a really shit Euros, right? Like at Croatia, I think he's he's a man. Omsi is a citizen, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> What do you think about Coach's performance? Did he ever like do you take him back in your team? Did you miss him like as much as you miss Havertz? I used to love Kova, but his biggest issue is when you start him two or three games together, he will pull his hamstring or something and he'll be like out for a time. So City are going to have the same fate with him. If he starts one or two more games and scores a goal or two, he will probably be injured and back on the bench. That's his biggest issue. So we were lucky enough to cope the money that we got for him. I'm just confusing Kova just with Jorginho. All right, next tweet for Man City versus Fulham. This is a gimmick, okay? The gimmick says that whenever Doku scores, the age of his fullback is about thirty years old. The gimmick is broken now. It's over. The gimmick is finished now. Imesh, any thoughts about the gimmick? Gimmick. RIP to it. I am sad that it's broken, and I'm sad that Doku <laughs> is going from nine on hundred player to ten on hundred player. I think yeah, he's a very average player. I don't. You know, you look at Doku in a city side and the stuff that they win, and you feel like football is just unfair. Like some people just don't deserve to win that much. And I think Doku is one of those. He doesn't deserve to win that much. Like Savino is much better. It just feels that way. All right. Uh, on the side note, Abhinav, are we seeing that Haaland is not the robot? That we thought he is. That he is. It's possible for him to go two, three games without scoring goals. Ever since the robot said Arteta to stay humble, he hasn't scored in the in the Premier League yet. So I think he's been humbling. I think he's being brought back to a city a normal human level, I guess. And again, I think this this happened last year as well. I think this last season in one of the big games. I think I'm not sure which game, but I think Roy Keane called him out and said he was playing like a League One striker or something. He mm-hmm. he does this. He does this all the time. Yeah, when you when you have good service, when you have these. You know, chances being created and fed to him, it is you know he is an amazing lethal striker. But in terms of the overall game contribution, in terms of how you kind of build up around him, I think he goes through these patches, and you can you can see how limited his capabilities are. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm actually glad that he's going through it. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry for my FPL team, but I'm glad that he's kind of going through and the city are losing points. I want to bring in Philippe Foden. Has he officially been dropped? Like the best <laughs> player in the Premier League? And what the fuck, dude? Like it's been seven game weeks. He started one because half the squad is injured. So so yeah. basically. Saka, Foden, and Palmer. I'm sure Foden is dead. Foden shouldn't be considered in that <laughs> debate anymore. I mean, you can't call the player PFA player of the year last year dead. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's what that's what his manager is doing. Like, if I tell me one PFA winner, PFA player of the year winner being dropped or not being played like that, or and having had like a Euros like yeah. that, and that award was also a robbery. Like, if you look at Foden, he doesn't impact the game. It's just a system play. If you look at the England, the guy that won the PFA player of the year, Definitely. he's a stat padder. Yeah. yeah. He, I mean, he definitely is, he does have some contributions, important ones, but he doesn't do shit. Do That's I what Guardiola said. I mean, I'm not saying it. Guardiola is not playing yeah. him, guys. <laughs> it's on me. If we start giving PFA Player of the Year to teams who finish sixth, I don't know where this league is at. Unfortunately, we can't. Do that. That's perspective. Player of the Year should be yeah, it should be irrespective of where you finish in the league. It should be the best player by far. Abhinav, do you think uh, for uh, Palmer should have won last year as PFA Player of the Year? Palmer last year, based on where Chelsea finished, no. I mean, yeah, he's good. He's he's, he's been nice. And- But I think it's it's between Saka or you know it it it, it actually has to be Foden right because the way they finish and I think he was very good in the second half of the last season. But I think twenty seven goals uh, yeah, over the first three last season last year. No, no, but like nobody is nobody is doubting that he shouldn't have been given last year. What I'm saying is he's not it this year. Like he's just fallen yeah. from grace. Yeah. But that is that is City right? Like Pep doesn't throw the players on. He lets them gain their confidence. It's like like Grealish. Like so many players do it. Like they don't come back. Pep anyway. City don't don't. Start the season well. Anyway, we've seen the script way too many times, so that's too soon to say anything about Foden's season yet. But, um, but what, but also, what confidence should Foden get, or even Grealish should get, like last year or so? Because I think they've been high on confidence after the treble. Grealish completely last season disaster. This season, Foden PFA Player of the Year. This season, he's not seen anywhere. I mean, again, he may start and. You know, 
given the games coming up he may start after the international break but i don't know what confidence drops they go through after being on a high so much to be honest at this point if they are dropping them it's just an any it is like a separate point but like if anybody says that arsenal are the favorite because rodri is not playing or rodri is injured then surely that is not the case because if a team can drop the best player in the league and still win and still wait for him to bet in then that team is surely the favorite so yeah. any anybody who says liverpool are not the favorites is wrong <laughs> but arsenal is definitely not the favorite <laughs> yeah. 